the March 24th letter stated that Bob Mueller did not reach a conclusion on obstruction. And it had the language in there about not exonerating the president. Uh, my view of events was that there was a lot of criticism of the special counsel for the ensuing few days. And on Thursday, I got, I got this letter. Uh, and when I talked to the special counsel about the letter, my understanding was his concern was not the accuracy of the statement of the findings in my letter, but that he wanted more out there to provide additional context to explain his reasoning on why he didn't reach a decision on obstruction. I'll just say this, uh, Mr. Barr. If you received a letter from Bob Mueller a few days after your March 24th letter, it was clear he had some genu genuine concerns about what you had said and done to that point. Can we move to another topic? Yeah, his concerns was he wanted more out. And I, I would analogize it to this. My, you know, after, after a you know, months-long trial, if, if, if I wanted to go out and get out to the public what the verdict was pending preparation of the full transcript, and I'm out there saying, here's the verdict, and the prosecutor comes up and taps me on the shoulder and says, well, the verdict doesn't really fully capture all my work. How about that great you know, cross-examination I did? Or how about that third day of trial where I did that? This doesn't capture everything. My answer to that is I'm not trying to capture everything. I'm just trying to state the verdict. No, you just absolutely used the word summarize, though, in your letter. Summarize the principal conclusions. Principal conclusions, which most